Hey, good morning, HTC family, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you're watching these devotions today. Uh, welcome. Today is day number 20 of our fasting and prayer as we journey through each and every day, digging deeper into what God is speaking to each of us in these times. So we hope that you've been enjoying these devotions every morning or afternoon or evening or whenever you're able to watch them. But as we journey this, again, this is day 20 of our 40-day fast on the theme, Go! And it's learning to go when God says to go or when he says to move or when he says to do different things. My name is Pastor Carl, and I am the campus pastor at our Harvest Time campus in Chippewa Falls. And we are excited that you're here with us today. So today, the scripture that we're going to be digging into is in Isaiah 43, verse 2. So Isaiah 43, verse 2. So if you have your own Bible today, if you want to journey with and kind of get into your own translation and dig a little deeper with me, I'll just give you a few seconds here. And uh, understanding that as we go and seek out, after God, all things become uh, alignment with Him and understanding with Him and processing with Him. So we pray that in these last uh, 20 days, you've been able to process and dig deeper in your relationship with God and seeking His face and His face alone. So again, Isaiah 43, verse 2, here we are. The Bible says this, When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. And when you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up, for the flames will not consume you. The very first part of verse 2, it says, When you go through the deep waters. The Bible doesn't say if you go or uh, if you get down a trench or if you fall into a valley or if you come into a place. It says, when you go. So we're all going to face things that we may not understand or we may not uh, realize that we're, we're going through the deep waters or through the rivers of difficulty or through the fire of oppression. Uh, when we walk through those things, a lot of the times we, we were like, God, where are you? Why aren't you with us? Where, where have you been? God, why haven't you uh, uh, been beside me as I'm walking these things out? Uh, there's a, a poem that comes to mind even as I'm saying this today is uh, Footprints in the Sand. And if you've ever heard that, read that, there's a portion in that is, is the, the guy is crying out or the woman is crying out to, God, where have you been? There's only one set of footprints, and how the poem goes is God says, I've been carrying you all these ta this time. Those are my prints. And that's kind of where this verse uh, reflects in my own heart and my own mind today is, when you go through the deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown because he's with you. And when you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you because of God. You see, when we go through all these things, God is the one that brings us through it, brings us to it, and brings healing where we need healing. So if you need healing today, let's press in together. Let's pray together. Let's seek God together. If you're going through things, let's press into the only answer that can be in this moment today, and the answer is Jesus. It's His love. It's His saving grace. It's Him who went to the cross for you. So let's, let's pray together. God, we just surrender right now. We thank you that no matter the difficulty we may be walking in, that we may be going through, that we may be journeying in today, God, that we can surrender all things to you because even when it's the waters, the deep waters, even when it's the, the rivers, the currents that are pulling us around, or even when it's the fire of just these days in this life, God, you are the one that brings all things to peace. You are the one that brings all things to understanding. You are the one that brings all things into your heavenly place. So right now we just submit, we lay it down, and we give it all to you. And we thank you and praise you that you are the answer in all things. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Hey, thank you for joining us today on day 20 of our fasting and devotions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Be blessed and be the kingdom. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.